Hey YouTubers and welcome back to Tony the Technician channel and today we're going to be working on the 2020 Kia Telluride more specifically we're going to be installing roof cross bars because I also have a roof basket that we're going to be installing so stay tuned for that video and then I also have a video probably already released on the Accessurides remote start for the 2020 Kia Telluride since they decided not to have a remote start uh, already on it you had to use the app and then after a year's worth of service you had to pay for it so go check that video out it's worth it especially if you have the 2020 and you want remote start and not paying $300 a year. So today we're gonna to be putting together the roof bars and then installing them on the Kia Telluride. We are looking at the OMAC crossbars. They're one of the cheaper ones on Amazon. There's a lot of different ones for the Kia Telluride. The first version of these, you had to fully assemble everything and some people got really frustrated with it because the instructions are very, generic uh, and very short and the version two is still the instructions are still very very generic but the ends come assembled 90 percent and you basically just attach it to the bars and attach it to the vehicle so we're going to be doing that i'll show you how to do that and install them on the vehicle and i really hope you guys enjoy if you guys do please make sure to hit that thumbs up leave a comment down below of your guys thoughts or if you have any questions over the bars these are going to run anywhere from $95 to $115, uh, just depending on when you purchase them. And in the instructions, it doesn't say OMAC, it's another brand, but I'm guessing OMAC just sells them. Uh, but the, the reason I went with these is because for one, they're more affordable. The OEM ones are almost $400. Any of them on Amazon run anywhere from $100 to uh, $200. So, these ones are much more affordable, probably not quite as quality as the OEM ones, obviously, but it's going to do what I need. Also, they're a lot lower profile than the OEM ones. I do not like how tall the OEM ones are, so that's why I went with this. But let's go ahead and get these assembled and installed. So this is the OMAC crossbar set. You can see I have one assembled there. Very easy uh, to assemble. And so Urkel. I guess sky bar v2 this is the instructions you push the ends in attach it to the bar you tighten this and then uh, you tighten these down and then you put the cap on and uh, lock it in place so very generic and then it just shows you what's included on these you have a right and a left here you can see this is a left and everything comes assembled the rubber portions are installed on each side. All the bolts are already assembled in it. So you literally just attach it to the crossbar. In order to put it on the right way, there you don't have to install the rubber seal. In the version one, you had to completely assemble the ends and install this rubber seal. It's already installed. It has a white plastic tape over it. You can also get this in different color options but this rubber portion, this seal is going to face up and then on these where it says left and right. And then it also shows you this points to the front of the vehicle. So you'll know when you put it on, which direction to place it. Also when looking at it, wider end is going to face the front of the vehicle and the slimmer end is going to face the rear of the vehicle. So we're gonna go ahead and get this assembled. I'm just gonna go ahead and get the tape off of these also it comes in uh, good condition mine had a couple nicks on it not a big deal it's going to be on the roof it's probably going to get some chips on it but it's not the thickest paint so keep in mind if you're worried about this not looking pretty or something down the road you could after installing the ends on here you could rhino line this or paint it to give it a thicker coat i would use like a truck bed liner or something like that under coating in order to give this a nice uh, solid coating if you do it without the ends on here then you may have an issue actually sliding these on so i suggest installing these first and then doing that so on the bottom it's a uh, smooth surface on the top you have the rubber seal and some grooves in the top so we're going to go ahead and get this installed now simply left with this you just slide it right on like that same thing with this end just kind of had to get them set in place and then 
push them together. And then if I remember correctly, they are two different lengths. Uh, and the longer one, I believe, goes to the front of the vehicle and the shorter one in the back. And then you have your covers here with the lock. You have this little plate in here that actually slides in to there to cover up one of the adjusting nuts and everything. And then you get your tools and keys. So everything's included, 90% assembled, super easy to fully assemble. And now we can go ahead and place them on the vehicle. We have the longer crossbar here and I have measured 21 inches back. I want it right behind the front uh, pillars and right behind the sunroof. Now this is fully open just to check and there's plenty of clearance here. Uh, so basically I'm going to set the front of my crossbar at this mark that I have here. Just gently set this down. And now I have it lined up right at my mark. The front of the bar is right at the front. I'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing on the other side and then we'll start tightening this down. Now we have this both, the front of the bar is at 21 inches on both sides and I have it adjusted. You can slide this bar back and forth in these housings and I have it set at roughly one. It goes from one to four. It's set at the one and a quarter to one and a half on both sides. So it's equally placed between the two mounts. So you can go ahead and start tightening your clamps, which is the main larger Allen head bolt down below. And you wanna make sure it doesn't move forward or back or anything. And I snug up both sides. Also make sure your rubber mounts are not folding uh, to where it's not protecting the bars. So this side is tight. I'm gonna go ahead and tighten the other side and then we'll lock this in so this bar doesn't move back and forth either. So here you can see we have it straight across right behind the sunroof. And this is the fastener that I was tightening down. This clamps it onto the rails. After that's tightened, you will take your smaller Allen key and tighten this fastener right here. This is going to keep the bar from sliding back and forth in the housing and keep them even on both sides. Okay, so that's nice and tight. Now that you've made your adjustments, everything's tight, the bar's not going anywhere. You will take this little plate right here and you will place it in this slot. Basically what that does is cover up the opening for the main bolt adjustment to get these on and off so that covers that and then the locking plate is actually going to go on it's got a couple tabs at the bottom you place in here and then you lay it down over it and that keeps this secure so it can't come out and nobody can access the bolt that actually loosens anything uh, so we're going to go ahead and place this on pop it in there lays down and then Simply take your key, lock it down, and there you go. It's all locked up and tightened down. And you do the exact same process to the other side and then measure out the distance that you want in order to place the rear bar. I think it's anywhere from like t basically 20 inches to 30, 35 inches. It all depends. I'm going off the OEM specs, looking at the OEM bars where they're normally placed, but I'm also not going to lock down the rear one completely because I have to install the roof basket in the next video and it has to be a certain distance apart. So we're gonna start with that and I'll show you how it looks after I have both bars installed. Alrighty YouTubers, so there they are installed. I think they look really nice. Um, they're a lot lower profile than what you would see from the OEM ones. I still have the caps here for the rear one since I haven't completely tightened it down. But it's got a much lower profile than the OEM crossbars. And, uh, very, very simple to install. Just make sure you measure it. Make sure you have clearance. 
they're tall enough either way that they're not going to make contact with the sunroof wherever you place it. So, but still keep that in mind. So that is it as far as the OMAC crossbars for the Kia Telluride and I'm sure it works for many other vehicles. Uh, the width can vary quite a bit. So just make sure you get everything locked down and sturdy and you're good to go. If you guys enjoyed, please make sure to hit that thumbs up, leave a comment down below, and as always, subscribe if you're not a subscriber. See you guys next time.